Hi, this is Tag again. And today I want to show you how to volt mod these boards, the Gigabyte GA5AX Super Socket 7 board. Now, the first mod I'm going to talk about, for that I'm actually going to get my own personal overclocking board here, is just regular old V-Core mod. Now, V-Core mod on these boards is something you will only need if you're running Pentiums basically. Pentiums or Pentium MMXs. Because there is no way your K5 will survive more than, well maybe the early ones, but the later ones sure don't, uh, survive more than, uh, I mean K6. Uh, anyways, uh, will survive more than 3.5 volts. Now, volt mod on this is a bit tedious thanks to Gigabyte taking the feedback pins of this and directly putting them on the ground plane. Uh, basically you have to lift them up and there you can see there goes the wire to my potentiometer. Now one side is directly attached to this casing here and the other one goes all the way around the board together with my voltmeter monitoring to a capacitor and measures the V-core. Now detailed mods going to be up later on the PC with paint as usual. But anyways let's continue to something else. We have a board power mod. Now for this you gotta know basically the two best ATX boards on this generation are in my opinion either this Gigabyte or something like this, the Asus P5A. Now the Asus P5A has a bunch of jumpers here in the top right corner where you can set your board power. I think they actually call it board power. Well anyways that's uh, your power for your memory, chipset, cache chip, stuff like that. So on the Asus board you can actually raise the voltage here, which is good. On the Gigabyte board, unfortunately, you can't. And back in the day, people used to get around this by just modding the 3.3 volt rails on their power supplies and stuff like that. Anyways, here the mod is, I would say, from the soldering, it's a lot simpler. We just basically pull up this uh, voltage reference for this linear regulator a uh, li little bit towards 5 volts which is here this is the input for it so we just have a potentiometer between the two and that's that again exact details will be up later and also a bit more explanation my voltage sense attached here uh, the red wires here are attached to 5 volts they are just the feed wires for my tube uh, voltmeters up here. And the ground I attached to the low side MOSFET here of the V-Core VR. There. So in case you want these fancy voltmeters for monitoring it right there and then uh, I would suggest doing it that way. Of course the other option is just I'm also going to show you this. Now I have to actually measure something for that. I want to know now this is our output. Let's find the nearest cap that we can use for this. Should be this one. Yes. So if you want to attach your Molex to measure the voltages, I would suggest using this one here where the yellow wire is and the top pin of this one here is your board power. So that is this capacitor right here. Anyways, that's about it for the showcase and I'm now going to switch to paint and show you the exact mods in detail. Okay, here we are again with the detailed mod guide. Now unfortunately Gigabyte decided that it is a good idea to attach the feedback pin directly to your V-Core. So 
you unfortunately have to remove two pins. Just lift them up from the pads carefully, try to not break them and you can then connect them together. The reason why there's two pins is because Gigabyte integrated um, OCP in some way here. Um, basically one pin measures the voltage drop I think across the power plane might be across the choke though so that's the reason for the two pins and once you have both of them lifted solder them together and let's draw our voltage uh, variable resistor here yeah. now this is a bit different at least the way I do it to a normal volt mod because I attach the middle pin of our variable resistor to these two pins and one side each, one to ground and the other side to V core. Now, good points to grab your ground would be these here. Or if you are doing the mod like me and solder the uh, potentiometer directly to one of the outputs, well, IO headers here, so mine is on top of the USBs, you can just use the casing from that. And the V-Core I would suggest grabbing from the back of the board. There is no real good point on the front unless you... Well, this is also not ideal. Anyways, I would suggest getting from the back. From the left pin of these capacitors, that's uh, V-Core. Now, obviously if you flip it around, it's the right pin. And that's... Oh, I should say something about the value of this, of course. Uh, I use 2 kilo ohms here. However, it's not as important as with other mods what value you use here because it's more the uh, ratio basically or the, the point between V core and ground where your resistor is set to then so, so the relative value than the absolute so I would just suggest not using something too low so it doesn't get hot um, but other than that I would be totally fine like using one kilo ohm here or five kilo ohm okay i think that's about it for our v core mod let's continue to something else okay there we are now this is our little linear regulator that um makes our board power. Now board power on these old Super Socket 7 boards is uh, for quite a few things. One of them is cache up here, that's the cache chip uh, chipset and also your memory. So keep that in mind, you're raising a bunch of uh, the voltage for a bunch of stuff. Now how the mod goes here is basically that this is 5 volts this is a pad up here, so you take your 5 volts and this is sort of, you can think of it as your sense pin. It's basically the reference for your linear regulator. And you want to pull this up by putting a um, potentiometer between them. Now you can also use these as solder points, point, solder points or this whole plane here basically for the 5 volt these bottom two uh, resistors here are the same as this capacitor. So what I do is just your regular old variable resistor between these. Now I would suggest using something like a 10 to 20 kilo ohm here. Now, for that you have to know that um, about 6 kilo ohms gives you 3.6 volts. 
So I, I would suggest using the 10 for maximum accuracy. So the second one obviously goes here to the 5 volt. So between this is 5 volt plus 5 volt and this is your sense. Now for measuring points for your uh, board power you can use this here, the whole tab that is behind this voltage regulator. Or what I used on my mod is this pad here or this pad here. Those are also board power there next to the cache. So I think that's about it. I hope this was pretty clear and helps you with modding your GA5 AXs.